Hi everyone, Kdest here. Uh, wanting to bring some focus on today to our emotional self. Now, with all of the changes that are going on, for many of us, the likely way we process and we deal with all of the changes is to go into our thinking self, into our mind, into our rational, logical self, so that we can you know, do what we need to do to adjust and, and, and keep going. Um, with all of the information that's coming at us and with all of the changes that we're we're having to likely make in our lives, whether it's setting up a virtual home office or, or having to now homeschool your children, whatever those changes are as you adjust, um, the usual pattern for most people, especially in the West, is to go into the mind, to go into that state of doership that just, you know, gets up, does what needs to get done and keeps going. And while that's a necessary part and a valid part of a way of being in the world, the stronger aspect of our being or, or the more pronounced aspect of our being is our emotional self. It's our emotional self that allows us to, to stay in movement, to stay in flow, to be flexible, to be adaptable. And, and that comes from our ability to feel our feelings, our ability to really be in touch with what our felt experience is in any given moment. So whatever the task at hand, whatever the situation at hand, whatever the changes that are at hand, you want to connect to how you feel about it. You want to connect to what the emotional impact of that is for you. And particularly with the changes that we're, we're facing right now, the the impact is heavily on our emotional self what's changing is the way we bond and the way we re relate the the way we connect um the way we we experience the world through our senses is really changing so you know you're seeing people with masks and gloves when you go out or, or you're having to wear a mask and, and gloves when you go out you're having to maintain a certain amount of physical distance between you and others you're having to change the way you connect with your loved ones. So instead of going out for lunch um, at your favorite restaurant, you're, you know, you're on a video call, um, maybe sharing a meal that way. So there's a significant change for our emotional self, for our emotional being in, in what used to be the way to relate and what used to be the way to connect. And although this may very well be temporary and short term, that change still has an impact for how we feel and how we process the moments that we are in right now. So it's really important to pause and, and sort of drop down your belly to your lower abdomen, your gut and check, you know, how do I feel about um, having to go to the grocery store by myself and, and not bringing any, any family members around? How do I feel about wearing a mask when I go out? How, how do I feel about seeing other people wearing masks and gloves? How do I feel about not being able to share an elevator anymore? How do I feel when I see another human being hesitate or experience concern uh, because they're, you know, closer to me than, than they're supposed to be, physically closer to me than they're supposed to be? So all of these changes that you're noticing around, you know, whether you're seeing someone cross the street or, or you're seeing someone wait for you at the end of the grocery aisle so that they can next go in. All of these restrictions, as, as necessary as they are, have an impact to that emotional self that doesn't have the same logical, rational way of processing uh, the information and, and the, the data that's in the environment. So this, this emotional self, this, this part of us that is really only able to understand the world in terms of relationships and emotions needs some space right now, needs some sort of compassionate awareness right now so that you're able to integrate what the real time emotional responses that, that your instinctual and your emotional self is generating in each and every moment. So the importance of this is really to enable you to keep moving forward, to keep, keep flowing forward. Because if, if these emotional responses, if these emotional reactions to where you are right now aren't processed, 
then you start to develop, you know, resistance and contraction, you get triggered more easily. Um, so you, you want to process and, and keep the energy moving as much as you can, as you go on about your life, um, adjusting and making the changes you need to make. So take a moment to really just connect with yourself, check in daily, um, with yourself again, pausing and dropping down to sort of your belly and your gut so that you can give space to this part of yourself. That's, that's facing some big changes as far as how you relate with those in your life goes and how you relate with your community and how you relate with uh, your world right now. <laughs>